In today's video, I am going to solve the recurrence relation using the generating function. And this topic is from recurrence relation and this is related to the discrete mathematics. Now, we are going to use the method of the generating function to solve the recurrence relation. A n minus 2 times of a n minus 1 minus 3 times of a n minus 2 is equal to 0. Where n greater than or equal to 2. Where the initial conditions are given as a naught is equal to 3 and a 1 is equal to 1. And now using the generating function, see here in the solution, so let the generating function, see here, let the generating function, of the sequence, of the sequence a n, b, g of z. Now, g of z can be written as, that is sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity a n into z bar n. See, from the question, the given recurrence relation is, see here, the given recurrence relation is, the given recurrence relation is, See here a n. So this is a n minus 2 times of a n minus 1 minus 3 times of a n minus 2 is equal to 0. Now I am going to multiply both sides. See here multiplying both sides or throughout the equation. Multiply. Multiplying throughout the equation. Multiplying throughout the equation by, so see here, by sigma n greater than or equal to 2 z bar n. Now see what happens. Throughout the equation, I am going to multiply. So here, this is a n and now I am going to multiply with n greater than or equal to 2 into z bar n minus 2 times of this is a sigma n greater than or equal to 2 there is already n minus 1 I am multiplying with z bar n minus 3 times of this is sigma n greater than or equal to 2 there is n minus 2 and I am multiplying with z bar n and this is equal to 0 and now see what I am going to do is, so there is n minus 1. So in order to balance this, so just I am multiplying with the z and dividing with z. And see there is n minus 2 here. In order to balance, I am just multiplying with z square and dividing with z square. Got it? So in the same equation, so I am multiplying and dividing with z and again I am multiplying and dividing with z square. And now see, so this will become n greater than or equal to 2. This is a n into z bar n. Okay. This is 2 z times of. This is sigma n greater than or equal to 2. This is a n minus 1 and this will be z bar n minus 2. And this is minus 3 z square. This is sigma n greater than or equal to 2. This is a n minus 2 and this is z bar. This is n minus 2 is equal to 0. So, we have to apply the generating function. So, if we apply the generating function, so according to the definition, so this will be g of z minus a naught minus a 1 z and this is 2 z times of, this is 2 z times of g of z minus a naught minus a naught minus 3 z square and this is g of z is equal to 0. Since the initial conditions are, so what are the initial conditions from the question? So a naught is equal to 3 and a1, so a naught is equal to 3 and a1 is equal to 1. So here a naught, since a naught is equal to 3 and a1 is equal to 1. Now if I apply here, then this will become g of z, g of z minus 3 times of this is 1 into z. 1 into z minus 2 z times of this is z of z. What is a naught here? Minus 3 minus 3 z square into g of z is equal to 0. Now see here, if I take z of z common, first of all, so this will become z of z. So if I take common, then see what are the portions here. So here this is 1, 
this is minus 2 times. So, this is minus 3z square into g of z and this is minus 3. This is minus 3 minus z and if I multiply minus into minus plus 2 3 z 6 z is equal to 0. And my next step will be. So, this is z of z times of z of z times of this is 1 minus 2 z minus 3 z square is equal to. So, if I send to other side this is 3 plus z minus 6 z and this can be written as g of z. This is 1 minus 2z minus 3z square is equal to 3 minus 5z. So, if I send this factor to other side that is g of z is equal to this is 3 minus 5z divided by 1 minus 2z minus 3z square. Now, see here I am going to split this. So, how I am going to split this? So, this can be split into this is 1 minus 2z minus 3z square. So, in place of minus 2z, I am writing minus 3z plus z minus 3z square. So, this is 1 minus 3z and if I take z common, this is again 1 minus 3z. So, if I take 1 minus 3z common, so this will be 1 plus z. So, in place of this, I am going to write g of z as so, this is z of z is equal to, this is 3 minus 5z, this is 1 minus 3z into 1 plus z. Now, we have to resolve into partial fractions. In order to resolve into partial fractions, so this is 3 minus 5z by 1 minus 3z into this is 1 plus z is equal to, this is a by 1 minus 3z plus b by this is 1 plus z. So, if I resolve into partial fractions, this is 3 minus 5z by 1 minus 3z into this is 1 plus z. So, if I take LCM here, this is 1 minus 3z into 1 plus z. So, if I cross multiply, this is a times of 1 plus z plus this is b times of 1 minus 3z. Now, I can cancel this on both sides. If I cancel this on both sides, what remains? This is 3 minus 5z is equal to a times of this is 1 plus z plus b times of 1 minus 3z. Now, if I put z is equal to, so here there is plus 1. If I put z is equal to minus 1, this will become 0 and I will be getting the value of b. See here. If I put z is equal to minus 1, so minus of minus plus and this is 0 and b is equal to 1 plus 3. This is 4. This is 8 is equal to this is 4 into b. So, the b value is 8 by 4 and now we got the value of b as 2. So, we got the value of b as 2 and now the next time. So, in this equation, if I put... So, in this equation, if I put, I have to make B0 this time, so that I will be getting the value of A. So, in order to make this 0, B0, so Z value will be 1 by 3. So, if I keep 1 by 3 in the above equation, so this will be 3 minus, this is 5 by 3 is equal to A times of, this is 1 plus 1 by 3 and B times of 1 minus 3 into 1 by 3. If I cancel 1 minus 1, this is also 0. So, this is 9 minus 5. So, this is 4 by 3 is equal to A times of, this is again 3, this is 4 and this value is 0. So, here I can cancel this. So, if I cancel for 1 time, so A is equal to 1. So, I got the value of A as well as B. So, here A value is equal to 1 and we got B value as 2. So, here in this we got B value as 2. So, after getting A and B, now I am going to substitute in this generating function. So, here what is the generating function? So, the generating function G of Z is equal to. This is G of Z is equal to in place of this I can resolve like this that is a by 1 minus 3z plus b by 1 plus z this is 1 plus z now what is the value of a 
so value of a is 1 by 1 minus 3z and value of b is 2 by this is 1 plus z so this is the value of a as well as b and after getting the values of a and b the required solution can be written as therefore the required therefore the required solution is that is a n is equal to so this is a n is equal to 1 into this is 3 par n plus 2 times of this is minus 1 par n so this is minus 1 par n so a n value is equal to 3 par n and this is 2 times of this is minus 1 par n this is how we have to solve and let me explain you once again so here using the generating function so this is the generating function g of z is equal to sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity a n into z bar n and the given recurrence relation is like this and now I am going to multiply throughout the equation with z bar n. So if I multiply throughout the equation with z bar n in order to balance n minus 1 I am multiplying and dividing with z by and next one in order to get n minus 2 here so I am multiplying and dividing with z square on to this term to this term so that I got like this so using the generating function definition so I have taken z of z common and after taking z of z common so these are the factors for 1 minus 2 z minus 3 z square so I have to resolve into partial fractions I got the value of b as 2 and a as 1 and after substituting the required solution is as this thank you so much for watching and staying till the end so if you daily practice definitely you can solve any problem of any kind and if you really like you know what to do please leave a comment raise your thumb and pass it on to your friends